फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई हॉस्पिटल एट रानाघाट इंडिया दिस इज क्लियर लेंस एक्सट्रैक्शन फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एक्यूट अटैक ऑफ एंगल क्लोजर ग्लोकोमा द इंट्रोकुलर प्रेशर बिकेम सिक्सटी सिक्स मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी विथ इंट्रावेनस मैनीटॉल एंड अदर एंटी ग्लोकोमा मेडिकेशन द प्रेशर हैज कम डाउन टू थर्टी मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी and now i tried to do yag laser iridotomy but the anterior chamber was so shallow the peripheral iris was almost touching the back of the cornea and i thought there is a risk of corneal burn if i try yag laser iridotomy and i may not be successful in doing that so i decided to do clear lens extraction deepen the angle and treat the case with this mode of treatment i have done similar surgeries before about in 3 4 occasions and all those cases have done very well by this time the incisions have been made now capsulorexis is being done a uh, capsular tag is raised now i take a uterator forceps and i'm doing a small rexis of about 5 mm diameter the rexis is going underneath the iris at this area and here a complete uh, almost circle rexis and that's it now hydro dissection hydro dissection should be optimum we cannot inject a lot of fluid then whole mass lens mass will try to pop out it will cause stress on the rexis margin and in on occasion there was tear of rexis margin in my hand so i am very cautious injecting optimum amount of fluid hydro delineation was done it has produced a beautiful golden ring in this case and now is the time to remove the lens the machine being used is oatly catarex 3 vacuum being used is 450 mm of mercury flow rate is 45 and ultrasonic power is only 30% i go into the substance of the nucleus i don't remain in the anterior chamber because the anterior chamber is shallow and now i aspirate the lens mass and if required i use very minimal ultrasonic energy say 5 to 10% ultrasonic energy is being used occasionally whenever there is necessity and now almost 50% of the lens mass has been removed and here it is the last portion of the mass and few bits that's it the lens has been removed so it is not very difficult to remove clear lenses you just have to aspirate the whole mass and if required use very minimal ultrasonic energy and now i am using a 23 gauze simco cannula for removal of the cortex we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration also and here the port is blocked so i came out and flushed out and now posterior capsule appears very clear now i go through the side port and remove the soft main incisional cortex and here what happens the mass blocks the passes so i regurgitate 
flush out a bit and again aspirate and this time I can aspirate the whole thing that's it so the lens has been very nicely removed and now we have to implant an intraocular lens the patient is very poor cannot afford costly lenses so we have been able to provide a hydrophic acrylic intraocular lens and here it goes the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is also placed in the bag just by a push of the irrigating probe there is no visco in the anterior chamber now what I am doing is I am pressing at the, on the, onto the iris in the periphery to break the appositional closures yes in chronic and in acute angle closure glaucoma in some areas there is peripheral anterior synechia and if we press onto the iris with the irrigating probe the anterior peripheral anterior now the peripheral angle is open and this makes lot of difference we can use lot of medications but unless the angle is open those medications will just cause decreased formation of aqueous humor but here we have opened the angle and now the side ports are hydrated and after hydrating the side ports I'll do one more thing with the Simcoe cannula I will catch hold of the pupillary margin and pull it towards the center so that the clogging of iris yes like this so that the clogging of iris at the periphery is broken the iris comes little towards the center in this way the angle opens up this is what I think and it has worked in previous occasions this is um, Kenacort. Kenacort means tramsinolone acetate. This is just to decrease the inflammation. There was some inflammation in the anterior chamber to break those inflammations. This uh, Kenacort that is tramsinolone acetate has been injected and this is being washed out with 23 gauze Simcoe cannula and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done in this case I have used pilocarpine also to so that people becomes smaller and it may help in opening of the angle and this is the final lavage all the transnodon acetate particles cannot be removed some particles will remain and those few particles will take care of the inflammation and the antechamber will be very quiet next day thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills